What's going on guys? It's Music Tuesday. Welcome to Music Tuesday. Let me turn my music down. My name is Dean, man, and uh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, we're going to dig into the music topics of today. Uh, so many independent artists out there um, don't really know what's happening. So many independent artists out there are struggling to find the right answers, are struggling to find uh, the way to navigate through this ever-changing music industry, right? So I've started this thing called uh, Music Q&A, and so far we've been doing it on Tuesdays. And my special guest today is Gigi Harmony, and um, I'm, a, I'm just going to bring her in right now and jump into it, man. It's Music Q&A. Anyone that's watching, you're free to ask any question you want to ask in the music industry. My name is Dean, and I am a music coach and a music publisher. Uh, so I'm going to bring my special guest in right now, Gigi. Let's see where she at. All right, let's bring her in. Yeah, it's music Q and A, and she's joining in right now. What up, Hayden? What's up, dude? GG! Dean! What's up? What's up? <laughs> Let me back up, because uh, I want to I wanna show my forehead and all that stuff. And ah, all right, get it together. I, I need to go to the barber and all that, but mm -hmm. yeah. Welcome to Music Q&A, GG. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, you I like the. Uh, you like ready for this? <laughs> I'm I'm ready. I like your hairstyle. It's like uh, crunchy oh, up wild, top. Right? A little wild, yeah. It's like hello. <laughs> 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 so it's it's music Q and A, and I started about well, it happened last week. Shout out to Lydia who brought the idea to me, even though I've always wanted to do it. But she added some fire and I did it with her and it was very successful, man. I said, you know what? So I have basically lined up guests who have questions, independent artists who have questions. Mm -hmm. And so you are here to ask me questions and I'm shaking in my boots. I'm, <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, Gigi. <laughs> I know you're not. I know you're not. It's okay. I'm sure you're well prepared. You know a lot. You know a lot. Man, so I know. try. I really try. You know, I have a heart for independent artists because they sometimes are viewed as the underdog. You know, right. they don't have all the necessary information mm -hmm. how to distribute their music, which which company is right for them, you know, how to make money online. And so we're going to dig into it, man. So, Gigi, what is your first all right. So uh -oh. the first question is, um, yeah. what do you think is the best PRO for an independent artist, performing mm -hmm. rights organization? Which one do you think is the best? Um, performing, performing rights organization, which one is the best? They all pretty much do the same thing. Um, BMI, ASCAP, um, those are non-for-profits. And the CSAC is for profit. Um, so with CSAC, you can only join when you are invited or mm -hmm. when a, uh, a current member invites you in. Other than that, you can't just be a part of it. Um, ASCAP, BMI, they do the same thing. It's just a matter, it's just a matter of choice, Gina. I mean, GG, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really, there, it's, it boils down to choice. Okay. You know, um, they all pay the same in terms of um, rates and quarterly and whatnot. Um, mm. So that's my answer to that. You know, they all it's just based on who you like. I'm, okay. I mean, for me, I'm a BMI guy, but you know, I like uh, BMI so live. I love, I love being the a BMI guy. Say again, I said, what's the reason for being a BMI guy if they're all the same? Look at you digging all deep. <laughs> Hey, you invited me, you know. That's I want, I want, yo, I want, I want you, man. <laughs> you invited me, so you have to answer the question. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love BMI interface. 
Okay. I love the interface. I love uh, BMI Live, which a lot, when I say a lot, oh my gosh, a lot mm -hmm. of artists don't even know about BMI Live. Like, you can it. upload your set list. So if you perform at a club or a stadium, a venue that probably paying royalties to the PRO to operate music at their venue, mm -hmm. you can go and log into your BMI, and, and it's called BMI Live, right on the left, and you can upload your set list, the name oh, of your okay. songs, and blah, blah, yeah. blah. And once you submit your set list, uh, BMI's job is to go out to the place that you performed and get royalties because they should be paying anyway. So that's how that stuff works. But I love the interface. Yeah. Okay. That's my answer. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Next question. Number two. Um, what do you think is the most um, beneficial distribution company for an independent artist? Wow, that is a loaded question. So for me, all right, so the best way to look at that, Gigi, is when it comes to CD Baby, which everybody knows about, mm -hmm. CD, and I'm not going to go into the what each person charges or what each company charges because I don't want to misquote that. However, CD Baby charges to upload your music to their platform. Okay. And they still take a cut of whatever you bring in. They still take a piece of that. TuneCore charges all right, I'm forced to do it. I think they charge like nine ninety nine for a single and that's per annual. So every year you gotta pay nine ninety nine for your single. Now mm -hmm. every dime that you recoup is yours one hundred percent. And they're not oh. the only one that operates like that. Okay. Um, but of course, if if a new store is added, then you got to pay, I think, like an extra 10 bucks for that service. Mm -hmm. So then there's one RPM. There is uh, Ditto, um, D-I-T-T-O. I think they're in Europe or the UK, they're about. And then there's uh, Disco Kid, which is a huge company. Disco Kid charges you a fee, but you have like unlimited uploads. It's crazy. Oh, okay. so let's say you pay twenty dollars per year. Mm -hmm. Within that year, you can upload three, four, five, six songs, as opposed to nine ninety nine mm -hmm. this month and three months down the road, you do another nine ninety nine because you're releasing multiple singles over the next six months. So that's something to look into as well. You know, and, and they don't like a lot of these companies that can get you into TikTok, you know, and all that stuff, which is super cool. Um, they also get you into Shazam. If your song is playing and someone takes out the app and open up Shazam, then they they can tell who is singing that song, which is very important. Um, so it boils on to pricing. I would say focus on getting back 100%, whatever you make and just pay an annual fee. But I always tell my clients that if you release a single this month and you're paying that single fee each year, and then you release another single three months later, it's gonna be two prices you gotta pay each each year. And then right. six months down the road, you wanna do an EP and then an album or whatever. So just be sure that you, you know exactly what you're doing. Because I'm sorry to tell you, it's not easy to make enough money to pay for these annual fees. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. It seems like right. it's not a lot, but it's not easy at, at all. So that's my answer to your question. Okay. Yeah, question number three. <laughs> question number three. All yep. right, so what do you think um, is the best way to promote? What is the best way to promote? Mm, that's a great question and here is why. I'm actually doing a show tonight, a live um, stream on YouTube, which is Dean Reynolds Media, and mm -hmm. on my Facebook profile page, which is Dean Reynolds, I'm Dean Reynolds. And the title for tonight's stream is How to Grow Your Music with YouTube Ads. Uh, so I would say the, the best way, 
hands down, based on where we are in the music industry, is, is ads. Whatever platform you choose, whether it's Instagram or Instagram, Instagram story ads, by the way, is through the freaking roof. Okay. The, the, the okay. conversion is through the roof. The engagement is through the roof. Instagram uh, story ads. Oh, my God. Yes, ma'am. So Instagram or Facebook ads, YouTube ads, that's the best way to kind of grow your music, to kind of market yourself. Um, of course, you want to make sure branding is important. You want to make sure if you have a banner, then the same banner is on your YouTube page, um, and it's on your you, I mean your Facebook page and your YouTube um, channel as well. Everywhere you go, so people can get, you know see that same consistency, mm -hmm. and just and just do ads, man. And, and whenever you're ready, I can definitely help you with that. It's, up, it's one of the services that we do. We just don't pro we just don't promote it. But ads is the way to go because with ads, what a lot of people don't know, uh, they don't realize that you can target your audience. Mm -hmm. So let's say, because, you know, I'm Jamaican, you're Jamaican. Let's say you want to, because I just played one of your songs in the background, and let's say you want to just put that out there to a Caribbean audience. Right. So you can go into Facebook and target the specific regions, and that's sick. You can't really so you couldn't do that with traditional TV stations and if and if they did that for you you pay an arm and a leg like that mm -hmm. would be a lot so you can go you can do five bucks a day for the next thirty days you know the cost per view could be thirteen cents it could be ten cents just it just it, you just gotta do it man set it up and target your audience and grow it that way now you don't always get in those things nothing is perfect but it's a good way to grow your music trust okay so part b to that question is uh -oh. how do you how do you do that with the ads is that something you need to get services for or is that something that somebody could do on their own you know what i mean it's very um i'm consuming and okay. it, 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 it's a little bit daunting, if you would, because you first would need to have, you got to log into Google Ads. It's no longer called AdSense. It's Google Ads. You got to log okay. into there. Mm -hmm. And you got to create a campaign. And you got to set everything up. You got to add your credit card or your debit card. You got to name the campaign. And you have to, the, the trick to that is, and I'm talking about YouTube, by the way. And the trick to that is you need to know which ad, what type of ad do you want to place? Because if you notice, when you go to YouTube and you see the, the ad playing and you can skip it after probably like five seconds or, or so, if you skip it, then the person that places that ad there does not pay. If you, if you watch it for, for a certain time, then the person pays. Um, so there's skippable ads, and then you have um, in-stream ads, and you have discovery ads in YouTube. Discovery ads is when the ads probably show up on the side of the video, and you have to literally click the ad for someone to know what's going on with that ad. So that's how okay. that works. Okay. So it just depends on what you choose. And Facebook is, is, is the same. I would say, man, just hire someone to help you. Hello. Right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, okay. if you're just joining us, you're wondering what's going on. This is music Q and A. Um, music Q and A, and today's Tuesday, and our very special guest is Gigi Harmony. She is a singer. She's a songwriter. She's a performer. She's a dance hall dancer. Um, she does these. Um, Dutty one. I'm I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Where did that come from? <laughs> yeah. Get it together, team. Get it together. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, talk to me, Gina. What's your next question, Gigi? All right, so the next question is, so if you don't have a publisher, 
or yeah. um, or a management team. What do you think is the best marketing strategy to use if you're doing it on your own? Yeah, so it, hmm. yeah, mm. it's kind of like <laughs> matching up with the same YouTube with the, with the same ads and, and whatnot. But I would say whew, doing things by yourself is a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not easy to find the right manager mm -hmm. or the right booking agent or a publisher to help you know promote your music right but um i would say once you put everything in place once you have all of your you know your your graphics you know your artwork in place you know you hire a graphic designer listen when i say hire you go to fiverr.com girl yes and pay five freaking bucks seven bucks i just learned about fiverr yes listen man i use them there's no shame in my game I use them. I know a lot of top tier people that I personally know, and their stuff is amazing. I'm like, dude, hook me up. I'm like, it's Fiverr. Because right. so in, in Fiverr, there are different tiers. You know, <clears> five <throat> bucks, seven, you know, five bucks, then you're 10 bucks and 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Go there and just search in the search bar, graphic designer for album or artwork, whatever, you know, and create your brand, create your style, know what your colors are. And once you set all of that stuff up, you said, all right, this is my single. You get a producer. The song is produced. And let's say you go to TuneCore and you you are releasing that song. Then what I advise you to do is to have a pre-release date. So you set that pre-release date up into TuneCore. And then you begin to promote that song on social media and whatnot. Now, um, I want to tell you about a company called SongTrust. SongTrust is a music publishing, um, ad, uh, music administration company publishing. Mm -hmm. So what they do, instead of you getting a music publisher, what they do, they cover all spectrums for you. YouTube plays, uh, Spotify plays, uh, Terrestrial Radio, which is you know FM, AM. Um, mm -hmm. All of that stuff. It probably costs about a hundred bucks to join, and it's a one-time fee. It, I mean, it's worth it a hundred and ten percent. So I would advise you, whenever you're ready, I can give you the information. And and I need to also hurry up and just release, open up my Facebook group that I'm working on. It's been like six months working on this thing. Okay, it's gonna be amazing. But yeah, um, so I would say, man, uh, you know, just do those little things. You know, set all those things up. Um, make sure that your music is ready to uh, be consumed. You know, um, don't just play it for yourself. You know, send your song to someone, someone who's going to tell you that they are true. Yeah. And say, yeah. hey, work on this song. Mm -hmm. Hey, I like the song or don't like the song. Um, and, you know, play it for your kids as well. Kids tend to be very honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yes, they won't hide they this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like my daughter, they it doesn't matter. Oh, dad, that sucks. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? So that's how the that stuff works, man. So yeah. I would say do that, Gina. Just set all of those things up one by one. Have a checklist. You know, music mm -hmm. and distribution, all of this stuff. Now the trick is, let's say you are a member of Song Trust. Mm -hmm. And you're using TuneCore or any digital aggregator, TuneCore, CD Baby, to distribute your music. You have to make sure you do not check the box that says YouTube or digital streams. Because you are, you're already doing that with SongTrust. With SongTrust, okay. Yes, yeah. so Song, okay. SongTrust is a music publishing, music publishing. They do all of the administration for you. It's really, really good. It's really amazing. I've oh. been working with them for four years. They are like the best. Because for you, for if, for, if your song gets played in Japan mm -hmm. and it gets played into Germany, in order to get that money, you would have to register with a PRO in Germany, which is called Gamer. Oh, okay. And that costs a lot of money for you to register with each PRO. But with SongTrust, they already registered with the probably one. over okay. over yeah, 180 PROs. So yeah, it's pretty tough, okay. man. But you just gotta go piece by piece. Don't Makes have a checklist. Sense. 
Let, wait, let me shout out some people on here, man. Let me shout out to my nephew, Shandine. What's up, boy? Shout out to my dude, Canute Neal. What up, playboy? And I see um, some names on here. Oh, what's up, man? African Prince Africa. And I see Trilly, Trilly D design, um, something like that. Ron Matheson, what's up, dude? Good to see you, kiddo. <laughs> All right, what's your next question, uh, Gigi? All right. So um, my last question is, what do you think is the biggest misconception in the music industry? <laughs> Hold on, let me, let, let me take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is the biggest misconception? Or what are the biggest misconceptions in the mm. music industry. Yeah. Whew. There are probably a lot that you can get rich quick, that you can mm. make it overnight, um, um, that you can't make money, that you can make money. It's, it's, it's on both sides. Um, that you have to register with the government, with the federal agency, um, copyright.gov in order for your song to be protected. That's not true. Mm -hmm. That that's that's the biggest one. Um, you know, and and that's a part of copyright. Okay. It, just name me a song that you wrote recently, UG. Uh, Broken Places. All right, so Broken Places. You wrote Broken Places, and did you write it down on something? Yeah. All right. So the minute you did that, GG. Uh huh. That song automatically gets what's called the bundle of rights. Okay. So you have the right to produce that song, mm -hmm. to distribute that song, mm -hmm. to perform that song, and a bunch of other rights. Okay. So if you decide you don't want to register that song to um, copyright.gov, your song is still protected. That's one of the biggest misconce misconceptions in the okay. music industry. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's, I, I, I didn't make that up. It's the law of the United States. <laughs> the minute a song becomes tangible, then that song is protected. What okay. with, and then you went to Dean, but why does someone register with copyright.gov in case you have a court case now? Those boys will help you mm -hmm. with a court case. Okay. If you never catch a case, you're good to go. You're gravy. So, I mean, so there are a lot of them. Um, hmm. Because I have this thing where I say how to make money while you sleep. And, and that's all because of music publishing. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, the next uh, misconception is... Uh, when you release a song, um, a lot of people do not register with a PRO. A lot of the, I don't know why they just don't do it, and mm -hmm. that's one of the misconceptions. You will never get royalties from radio if, yeah. if you're not a member. I don't right. care how big your song is, mm -hmm. and what happens, GG, after a certain amount of years, BMI would put that song in what's called. Uh, a black box and, uh, and, and the royalties that belong to you go to the highest paying member of that year. Really? Now, would you want your money to go to somebody else? No. <laughs> no, sir. Tina, that's what they do, though. Well. Millions of unclaimed royalties. Oh, Every that's time why we need you know. to be informed, you see? That's why we're yes. here. That's why we're here. And the next big um, misconception is that, um, I don't know how to phrase it, but there's song um, sound exchange, which a lot of people still don't know about and what they do. Um, sound yeah. exchange pays royalty based on non-interactive streams. Um, <laughs> so the have you ever turned on your, your TV and play like... Um, cable radio on, on, on your TV, yeah. that uh -huh. kind of stuff. You can't really right. interact. Yeah, um, like a Pandora, you can't really interact. Um, 
mm-hmm. you know, um, internet streams, internet radio, that's, and they pay supporting artists as well. So if you do a, pro- a project and you, had, uh, you have a supporting artist, that person also gets paid. So yeah, um, you just got to register with the right places, man. You just got to register with the right places. I'm done, Gigi. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> you know, my mind is going. My mind is, know. you know what I mean? It's it's going mm. now. Whoa. Yeah. Do you, guys, do you have any other questions? Or anybody out there have any questions? This is music Q&A. My name is Dean. And tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be live on my YouTube channel, Dean Reynolds Media, and on my Facebook 8 p.m. Eastern, and it's how to grow your music with YouTube ads. Very important show to watch. Very important to learn how to set up your account um, to grow your music. Um, oh, let me tell you something also, GT, with this YouTube um, ads. Mm-hmm. What I love about it is that, so let's say you have a bunch of people that you like on YouTube, mm-hmm. um, artists. Um, name me two of your influences right now. Uh, um, or, or even one. Influences right now. Music, yeah. That should be quick. Hello? Yeah, I know, but there's Anybody too many. There? All right, positive. I'll say positive. Positive. From Trinidad? Yeah. All right, so positive. So what you do when you're setting up your YouTube ads, it allows you depending on the category you choose, girl, it allows you to uh, find a bunch of people that you like who Mm -hmm. are successful in your space, in the music space. Mm -hmm. So once you set that up and they're in your ads on the back end, anytime that person's video plays on YouTube, guess whose ads show up? Yours. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. All right. That's, that's super cool. Okay. Yes. So. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you guys for coming on here, man. This is Music q and I'm going to try to keep these up. I got a couple more people lined up. All right. So I got a question here from it's underscore. BG. Okay. Yeah. Where does a brand new artist start? I would say a brand new artist should start online. Um, as soon as you want to start a music career, start online. You know, SoundCloud is still popping. Anyway. Open up a SoundCloud, a, a SoundCloud account, a YouTube account, uh, and just start singing, start rapping, start playing your, your guitar online. That's the first place to start. But first you want to, you know, you want a name. So if you're going with your personal name, um, you know, or if it's uh, whatever, you want to come up with a name and just start singing. Remember, even if you're singing original songs on online and it's not registered with copyright.gov, you still can do that. Remember that. Or if you want to just sing a bunch of cover songs, that's fine. Just start getting your feet wet. And even if you add music to somebody else's cover song, I talked about this last week, you can still get royalties from covering somebody else's song. Why? Because the sound recording is yours. The sound recording is the master and the master belongs Mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. So you are your own record label at that point. You know, hey, Carleen, how are you? Thanks for joining us, guys. Any other questions? Any other questions, GG? GG? No, I'm going to pause on the questions because I'll keep you here all night. My mind is turning right now, so I, I, yeah. I more questions are popping up, but I'll, I'll pause. All right, so let me ask you some questions. So, what oh. are you, re- <laughs> what are you releasing your next song? Ah, uh, very soon, like in the next uh, couple of weeks, probably in the next two weeks. Just waiting for the um, the edits for the video to be done, and we're gonna right, drop what is, it one time. What is the title of your song? That is broken places. Broken places, and are you going to be releasing it like audio and video on YouTube or, or what? Yep, yep, on my YouTube channel, it's going to drop same time the single and the video, same day. Oh. 
Christine Elisa. What's up, girl? Jeez, I haven't seen her in like 10 years. My goodness. <laughs> I guess she's promoting her. All right, cool. Yeah, so um, yeah. so who are you going to use? Is it TuneCore, CD Baby? Well, I have both. Um, but the who, who I are have both? not. I'm sorry. Who are both? TuneCore and CD Baby. Okay. Um, I started off with CD Baby, then went to TuneCore. Wow. But I have. I mean, that's some of my other questions. Like, I'm not sure. Ask me now. You have me now. Okay. If they you ask me where I'm going, if you ask me where I'm going, you got to pay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I don't mind paying though. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, I got you. I got they you. They say you get you. what you pay for, and that is true. I got you. So, so is there a difference between the two? I just answered that earlier. You did? Yeah, well, so you asked about the distribution. Right, but I said, what's the most beneficial? Well, I told you that CD Baby is going to charge you after you pay them to upload your song or to distribute your song. You still have to pay them a piece of what ever comes in, as far as yes. I know. Yes, it's yes, core, yes. Okay. Whatever you pay, that's it. You just pay an annual fee, and whatever you make is yours. All right. So then, tune core is the answer. You said it. <laughs> 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 so to be honest with you, uh, Gigi, I'm a tune core guy. Like, hey. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just a TuneCore guy, and yes. I'm a BMI guy. That's it. I'm, I've never done any business with C CD Baby unless the client wants CD Baby. That's just it. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's very important to know who you like and what each company offers. It's very important to, to figure that out. All right. Yeah. So your song is going to be out, and are you? So you, you're doing a music video for that as well. The video's already done. I'm just waiting for the edits to finish. You shot the video during COVID? No, before COVID. <laughs> before COVID. I'm you know where I've been all this time. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I'm messing with you, man. You know where I've been during COVID. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I all have right, not so been that... filming videos. <laughs> oh, so I got a question for you. So are you going to release this song, like digitally first before the video or simultaneously at the same time yes at, at, at the same time okay cool why is that unless you're unless you're telling me otherwise what i'm not i'm, I'm not your coach <laughs> <laughs> you are today you are right now dean <laughs> oh attitude <laughs> what's up dean <laughs> <laughs> no for real that's good um yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer, Dean? The answer is yeah. Uh, yeah. No, releasing a song and releasing the video at the same time is pretty cool. It's pretty neat because what you're going to do is capture visual fans and fans that like audio version of a song okay. um and the beauty of the beauty about releasing a song now um i don't know anyone that wouldn't want to choose apple music in their store of distribution mm -hmm. because i talked about this last week once your song is uploaded into apple music girl your game you can just go to your facebook stories and your song broken places mm -hmm. and you create a banner, or it could be your artwork or whatever, upload it into Facebook stories, and then the music you add will be yours, because Facebook signed a, a multi-million dollar deal with Apple Music. So anytime mm -hmm. your song is available on Apple Music, now you can search for your own music in Facebook stories. How cool is that? And you use that song yeah. and promote yourself. And yeah. do that for the next few days or weeks, whatever. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. What's up, Matt? <laughs> I need I need to do that. I need to do that. I need to do that. 
definitely. It's yeah, it's very important to do it that way, man. Um, it's it's super cool, super neat. Um, I like it a lot because the idea of just having um common artists or artists that are so popular, um, on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, that was those days. Now it's everybody. Everybody. Yeah, you can promote your own music, or if you just have a local friend, um, as long as that person's music is available on Apple Music, man, you're good to go. So that's something that you should bear in mind. And remember, in order for your music to be distributed, oh my God, this is TuneCore though. They have a lot of stuff in there because they upgraded their interface as well. Mm -hmm. So there's some things that you have to click. Oh, so if you want your songs to go, to be available on Apple Music, or, which is a streaming software, you have to select iTunes. So, oh. uh, you know, a few years ago, people were saying, <laughs> rest in peace, iTunes, I, iTunes is gone. But the only thing is iTunes is just not available on Mac computer, but it's still an app. It's still, downloads are still available, but downloads are going down. They are declining. Okay. Streaming, streaming, streaming is where it's at. And I'm going to do a stream soon on streaming rates, you know, what people make and all that stuff. But yeah. Woo! Any other questions out there? If not, we're going to say bye bye. So, DJ, did you learn anything today? I learned a lot today. I learned a lot today. What's up, mm -hmm. SMG, baby? Oh, you got your fans here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! But thank you, man, for coming on here, uh, Gigi, and I wish you nothing but the best. And thank you. I mean, we're friends, you know. It's not like this is just a one-time thing. We're always talking, mm -hmm. and we're always communicating. Yep. And as soon as other things open up, I'll let you know. And um, I appreciate you. I want to say that publicly. I really appreciate <laughs> you. You're always, you know, um, supporting me and supporting what I do. Um, that lets me know that you believe in what I do and thank you for trusting me with, with the information. I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you because you're the voice for people like us. You know what I mean? You're making thank sure you. that everybody's well aware, well informed and, you know, making the best decisions for their career. And that's something that you really don't find anymore. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People are in it for themselves, but they're not really, they don't really care about your career or the path that you're on. They just take your money and run, but they're not really investing into what you believe in. You know what I mean? So yes. thank you for that. All uh, right. Thank you. Appreciate you, girl. Thank you. Oh, uh, guys, remember, uh, if you're on here and you um, have any questions, I'm doing a 15-minute free um, music consultation. Any questions you have, you want to talk to me about it. You, you want to talk to me about just how to live stream your music, how to live stream, how to set it up. I'll give you 15 minutes free. You just DM me and I'll send, send you the information, put you on a calendar, and we'll work that out. True, and he is devoted to doing this. Wow. Thank you so much, Carlene. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, but until next time, man, I would say next week, music Q&A, we're, we're going to continue this. And um, shoot me a DM if you have any questions, guys. GG. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Peace. All right. You can search.